Uh, two questions to start off with Malcolm. Malcolm, how does it feel to be back in the building, man, your last ride? It feels great. Um, just ready to do something special this year for my last year in Florida City. Uh, how does it feel to be in a Memphis uniform, you know, having a great game so far? This is, um, you know, the DR fly colors, so it feels great to be back in the blue. That's all I can say. You repping. <laughs> All right, uh, question for Malcolm. You've obviously been here for many years. Mm -hmm. I know it's only early, it's an exhibition, but I got to ask you two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, one, what in this season do you feel like you truly improved on mm -hmm. or are continuing to improve on? Mm -hmm. And two, um, do you feel that this is one of the most complete teams that you've played in in your time in Memphis? Um, uh, well, one, um, I definitely want to definitely keep improving on my leadership skills and being a great teammate. Um, so, really, that's why I've been working on um, just being more accepting and um, guiding the new players. You know, we have 13 new players this year. Only returners is me and Jay. So, we got a um, way more responsibility than we would be used to or, you know, that we would want. So, really, just being here for my teammates, you know. Um, Understanding that everybody isn't like old teammates where some people have more understanding of how much it's, it means to the city for us to get wins and, you know, um, take care of business. So really that's been my main main thing to try to improve in. And um, secondly, uh, I definitely feel like this is just um, a close team, one of the best teams that I've been on since I've been here. So I feel like we're all together. We understand the, the goal. and. You know, it's a great people, great people around me. So we're definitely blessed to have the environment that we have every day. Thank you. Got the, got the uh, another assist added to the box score. Um, Malcolm, I'm curious, piggybacking off of that, um, do you feel, it seemed out there you guys were more cohesive than previous yeah. year's mm -hmm. exhibition games. The the first exhibition game. Yeah. Have things come together maybe more smoothly than you thought they would when you um, kind of watched seeing how it's played out here in preseason? Uh, definitely not like I, what I would thought it was because, um, you know, I was being told while I was in the portal this summer, um, you know, how much a difference this program really was, you know, how many great people are involved. So, you know, that played a part. Um, I really wasn't shocked. Uh, I definitely will use the word surreal because of how how great it has been. Um, I think a fact that we just heard that we didn't score like 100 points in none of the games last year, and this is the first game we played together and we already scored over 100 points. So, you know, that really just tells it all right there for the people who understand, you know, we just got to keep bonding and keep getting closer, but it's going to be dangerous this year. Hey David, you finished with um, 17 points, eight boards, and you know five assists. You know, just how important is it for you to be able to contribute in all sorts of different areas like you did tonight? Um, you know, uh, every good player, uh, it don't matter if he's in the NBA or anywhere in the world, he, you gotta have another weapon on on you that that you can help the team with. You know, if you're not scoring that night, you gotta you know get rebounds and steal rebound. Um, play defense, talk, be a good teammate. And uh, ever since I got here, Penny just um, been telling me uh, and talking to me about, you know, being a great leader, uh, help the team with rebound, pass, and, you know, play defense. And I just went out there. And I didn't even know I had 17 uh, points. I was just asking how many rebounds I got. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was trying to get more rebounds and more rebounds because that's my thing, get rebounds, though. Yeah. Oh, Malcolm, uh, Coach said that you're one of the important pieces and he feels like you're a special player on this team. You know, after so much time and over the years, how do you feel about that? Oh, um, uh, I definitely feel like it's the truth. Um, you know, but I'm just here to help people <laughs> around me grow. You know, um, I feel like my role is always just I want to be a humble servant. So, you know, I can do whatever I can do to make the whole better. So that's just my, my role, man. Whatever that looks like, whether that's 
going out there and sacrificing me scoring or me, um, you know, getting the ball every time. I just have to do what I have to do to show others and myself that, you know, as long as we win, that's what's most important because everybody looks good. Um, and our coaches preach, especially Stansberry, he preaches um, the only way all of us look good is if the team wins. So, you know, we understand that that's the most important and no selfish guys, man, and that's a blessing. David, Penny said that, you know, on a loaded team, you very well could be the number one option, the, the alpha dog of this group. Um, what's the balance been like from in between, like, you assuming that role versus not stepping on other guys' toes, if that makes sense? Uh, can you break it down for me, please? Basically, a lot of a lot of players on this team who are new, you know, were the number one option on their previous teams. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, oh, Penny said you have the potential to be that throughout the season. How do you balance, like, taking that role without stepping on people's toes? Uh, you know, uh, Mark can say we got a lot of weapons on the team, and you know, everybody came from different situation where there was the man on the team. Uh, we got a lot of scoring. So Penny been talking to me about to being a playmaker for my teammates so I can keep everybody happy and together. Uh, you know, and I've been working on it since since I got here. I've been trying to uh, take less shot and trying to make my, my other teammates involved because at the end of the day, I just want to win. And then I just I don't care if I score 20 points or no. I'm going to just go out there and play hard, get rebounds, and, you know, make everybody happy. And... That's that's what I'm gonna do this season. Um, question for both of you guys: um, The team shot the lights out pretty much from all over the f uh, field in the first half, and then continuing into the second half. One glaring issue in the first half, I believe, was free throws, but you guys fixed it over the time. Talked about talk about how important that is going down the line of the season, especially Malcolm. You yep. knowing. Uh, talk about how important that's going to be going into a season where you guys are looking to basically bring in a conference championship back to Memphis again. Most def. Um, we work on free throws every day, so it's being enforced to the team and uh, understanding. You know, we got a lot of new guys, like I said, so a lot of them um, wouldn't even really understand the free throw problem that we've had over the years, so that's good. But, you know, our coaches are enforced, and Penny has us shoot free throws every day. Um, as a team, we shoot team free throws. So, you know, we're just making sure we keep growing from it. But we're definitely aware of everything that needs to be going on. And Malcolm, you know, the, the front court showed a lot of versatility today. You mm -hmm. know, you and Jordan both had 14 points and six boards. Mm -hmm. Nick, he came out, he had eight points and seven boards. I mean, what's it like for you to be able to play alongside that kind of, mm -hmm. you know, talent in the front court? Man, like I said, man, it's definitely a blessing. I feel like we have the best uh, front court, not only in the country, but definitely in the conference. So, you know, we're just going to have to show show everybody what we're made of, man. But just one game at a time, um, you know, we're going to keep working. We definitely keep pushing each other in practice every day, and we're going to make each other better. So it's definitely a blessing.